Hello and welcome to my channel. I um, am currently very sick with my um, my asthma was set off from the poor air quality we've had here. Like, in, I, I check the air quality every day and I know that the days it's soupy and nasty out, um, I'm more likely to have allergens in the air that <laughs> my asthma like that. And then it'll set off the sinuses and now they've combined to give me the beginnings of bronchitis. But I've confirmed A, it's not COVID and B, I have an antibiotic on the way. My husband is getting it on the way home. So pardon me the fact that I look like I just rolled out of a bed because hey, guess what? I did. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Barb. This is my channel, the B-Rex, the PR Goddess One Beauty Hoard, the hot Glamazonian mess right here. I'm not downstairs this time because I've basically been living life upstairs except for bathroom runs. So what are we doing today? I'm going to showcase a few things I've gotten during Amazon Prime Day that already arrived. First of all, it's from a brand called Concrete Minerals, which I love. I have some other stuff of theirs. Like these are their full-size loose mineral shadows. They are about the size of a Bare Minerals loose mineral shadow, which I wish they made all the shades. Like I'm trying to find this color, basically, which is Fire Opal. This is a tangerine duochrome to like a lime green and it sometimes flashes a little bit yellow in the meantime <clears throat> a couple months back these two went on sale i think they were like a memorial day sale <coughs> and they let you put, uh add it to subscribe and save to get even more off so that's what i did so i have used the um that's beautiful tan it's almost like a pale camel meets tangerine it's beautiful um, the greens I haven't even used yet, the bright purple, but this is the size about, I don't remember how many grams, two grams roughly in these big guys, which is comparable to 0 0.57 grams in this guy, I guess. I don't know. They look about the same when you open them. Now they have some duochrome, so of course, you know, that's kind of what I'm after. So I went and I wanted to do that. They had them on sale because dual chrome is usually more expensive than regular shadows because of the coloring involved, I suppose, the ingredients. But they had a whole set of all eight of the duo chromes in like a sample size, which is fine with me. And the set was originally 40 bucks. I was like, how about no? It went on sale for 36 and then they had like an extra boosted coupon. So I got like six bucks off if I had done it on um, subscribe and save. Take off four, then take off two, then the 15%, whatever. However, during prime days this set went down to 28 and you didn't need any coupons and you didn't have to wait for subscribe and save so instead of keeping the 36 dollar one up and waiting till the end of the month i canceled that one and i just got the shades here and they just came today so now i can play with these and if i figure out the shade i like the most i can buy it in this size so that's what our goal is when we're feeling much better oh by the way if you find these triangular puffs, they come in all shades. They come in white. Ah! God damn it. They come in gray and they come in black. I got a 12 pack of assorted colors for like 12 bucks on Amazon. And let me pick up. At least it didn't break completely. This is my mango slay all day setting spray. I guess he sold by weight because he's definitely not sold by volume. Everything in its fucking mother wants to fall right now. Pardon my French. As you could tell, the beauty hoard is an actual hot fucking mess. I got shit everywhere. Also, if you saw earlier, one of my earlier videos before this hit, um, <clears throat> and I'm supposed to stay home until I have two days antibiotics in me to make sure I'm not contagious. So today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. That means I can go back to work Monday, which is good because I don't like missing work. There's too much to do and... Um, if I've got a commitment to something, I'd like to see it through. But my new Fitbit has a slightly different charger. So I reached out and touched someone and I tried to buy a set of their off-brand. And sometimes the off-brand ones work and sometimes they don't. But the thing is that the Inspire 2, which replaced the Inspire HR, which replaced the Inspire, even though all the bands are supposed to fit, although some places will tell you they don't, this is a similar streamlined charger. However, these have clips. So I am actually successfully charging my uh, Fitbit, which I'm gonna show you, hold up. 
you gotta I'm bent over I'm sorry because I gotta unclip it how the fuck do I unclip this thing you know it would be helpful if I remember because it's plugged directly into the base down here and it's doing a good job I'm not gonna lie but how do I unclip it fuck I don't remember shit There we go. So this is the Fitbit. This is the color Desert Rose. I don't like pink, but this is a coral. So I tested, because of course, they don't give you the base, because they say, oh, plug it into any computer or USB port or any, you know, AC adapter. So this is the first one. And my thing was with the prior Fitbit, they had, um, adapters that were second you know third party also and they were also available in two packs with longer cords which is great because they, they were about the same price about $8.99 $9.99 well these were on sale for $7.99 because of that the problem with the ones from my prior Fitbit is out of any given pack maybe one would work so I'm testing these because if these little mofos don't work just like they didn't on my old one then they're going back but I know that the one I just put back in the bag was working so let's plug this little guy in I'll show you up here so you see there is the magnetic three spot that goes right there, but then you have to click it in like that. Now I'm going to plug this into the base. Holy Jesus, they both work. Life is grand. So that saved me some money because to buy the actual... Um, Fitbit charger from Fitbit's like 15 bucks. So I just saved a couple bucks there. Yay. Um, outside of that, Lady Gaga, I know I keep bending over and weird shit. I'm sorry. The, this is a house built when people didn't have a lot of stuff. And then Americans became hoarders as a rule. And this is where we're at now. So here's the deal. Lady Gaga's house beauty cosmetics went through everything came in this. And um, transitioned from being available on Amazon to being available at, I believe, Sephora. Because I've seen it there online. Don't know if it's available in person. Just going to throw these out because I don't need them. They were for travel purposes. So basically, uh, I guess <coughs> Amazon decided to clear it all out during Prime Day. Up to 70% off all her makeup. I mean, they had like a whole page of it. I'm sure there were some like the, the one palette I had bought before on cyber monday that wasn't on there i didn't see it but they had lots of stuff some of it has started arriving others i put into subscribe and save because i needed to strategize the spending of what little money i had to spend so right here this is the house beauties this is their um quads eyeshadow quads this one is number four and it's called runway and they had a lot of beautiful ones but i had to really be honest with myself and say you already have that that combination of colors about 600 times However, I was able to rationalize the runway quad, which is these colors. An orange, a coral, a chartreuse, and a frosty white. And I'll show them to you. And I like is that they even have a little mirror. Don't judge. So, look at that. Now, this orange kind of reminds me of the one that's in that concrete minerals thing. And these we can swap them. Because I've been dying to see. I think this white is like a... Yes, it's a... Oh, it's a duochrome. It has a greenish gold. <gasps> Oh my God, stop. Yeah, I'm glad I got this one. And that one had like a real creamy feel. This one, the, the lime chartreuse, doesn't feel as creamy. Now this is one dip, one quick swirl, not a real hard dig. And I don't have any primer on. Next is, let's do the pink coral because all things coral are good. Oh, I love it. And then I'm gonna try this beautiful matte, this orange tangerine camel let's see oh my god it's like butter it feels a little chalky though i'm not gonna lie so it feels chalky but it goes on pretty smooth but the smoothest feeling one is this duochrome oh my god that feels like literal cream shadow almost but it's not so the the duochrome white to gold is called work it the lime green shimmer is called walk walk the slightly chalky feeling but still beautiful matte tangerine is fashion baby and then of course the um coral with gold shimmer in it is called move that bitch walk walk fashion baby 
work it. I'm a real bitch, baby. I want your love and I want your revenge. See, already I'm gagaing out. So basically, these are the four colors. I mean, this is without any. So this is the orange, which you can barely see. But again, my eyes will have primer. This is, oh, I love that, that duochrome. And that was the one shade I was actually kind of questioning. And then this is the lime. And again, this is not very heavy swatches, and that's the coral. So we're very happy with what we found. I'm just going to try to uh, wipe up my swatches and my fingers because we all know that I get messy and I stain shit. Like the last time I swatched uh, my black liquid lipstick, it stained my neon coral hoodie. And several washes later, the hoodie is faded and the black spot is still there. So, yeah. So the next thing they had was from the Italian Glam collection, the Casa Gaga. This is supposed to be a gel powder. This is Tutti Gel Powder Highlighter. Luce del Sol. Or Light of the Sun. Because, again, Italian and Spanish are similar. Just like Italian and Portuguese. Now they are completely sealed up tighter than our crab's buttocks. Yes, I do like the... Uh, the lines from Scorpion King. I don't care. Scorpion King was a bit movie. You don't have to like it. I like action movies. So I just slit the bottom because I'm OCD and I kind of want that top pretty. And I do the same thing when I have um, foundations or other things that come in boxes like this. If the top is sealed, I'll use the bottom. And again, I'm just using my stainless steel beauty spatula as my X-Acto knife to open things up. Now let's see. Now I saw what it looked like in online, obviously. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay, so this is a beautiful matte kind of white with gold. And it's supposed to be Lucha del Sol, 12 grams, 0 0.42 ounces. I like this. This is very pretty. It reminds me a little bit of your lips from Mother McGrath, the mothership. Oh, it's magnetic. Shut up. No more breaking thumbs or peeling nails. Oh, I love that. <gasps> this color. Okay. I have to. I'm sorry. Now, they said they, they showed it with a with a brush. That was just me barely brushing it with my finger. Oh, God. This is gorgeous. But you know what? She's got my love. She's got my revenge. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends. Caught in a bad romance. Hush up in romance. So let's try this. One of my complex culture highlighters because she had a highlighter brush she had the whole set which is the mini lipsticks this i think two of the blush the, there's blushes like this too those are on the way and then they use the brush but the brush as a standalone was sold out it's limited edition as was the whole collection but they had the whole collection together which was originally like 180 dollars on sale for 59 i did not need mini lipsticks i did not buy the whole collection but I will do this because somebody had said that they had used a brush with this and that the imprint never wore off, but it's still, you can't really tell because I'm shiny. Now, yeah. let me just try it again with the actual bristle part and let me try the hand. Yeah, I do see it. I do. I do. See it? See it there? Okay. And there is some... A little bit kick up on the pan that way but it looks good it does look kind of reminds me of my melt cosmetics the way it goes on and I'll show you what I mean because here's the melt cosmetics ghost light blush light and it has a similar kind of finish it's not a gel finish but it kind of goes on with this like blended lucidity versus chunks of shimmer so this one is more of a white gold and this one's more of a bronze champagne gold very happy, very pleased. This was on sale for twelve dollars. Twelve freaking dollars. Uh -huh. Originally, it was forty-two. Twelve dollars and sixty cents. Girl, guy, go buy you this if you can. It's even worth it. I would say at the forty-two. And this little palette was originally twenty-nine. I got it for seven dollars and twenty cents. Seven dollars and eighty cents. It, it was it was a, a, a steal of a deal, a whale of a deal. But now let me 
take off this because again, oh, maybe I can even do this. This is just an alcohol wipe, the kind that I use to wipe down surfaces. This is not disinfectant. I mean, it is because it's alcohol, but it's just alcohol. It's not like bleach and ammonia. That's why I put it on my face. Yeah, these are just alcohol wipes. I get them for a buck at the local shop right whenever I go grocery shopping. I like to have one to two. I do like the lucidity that this is the gel highlighter from Gaga. Casa Gaga. And this one is blush light, which looks a little bit more in your face. Actually, they're both in your face in different ways. But this one has like a cream. They both are creamy. Who am I effing kidding? It's almost like though that the uh, Gaga looks wet and this one looks dry. I don't know. I'm going to leave them on. I fucking feel like it. All right. So that's what's arrived so far. Chargers eyeshadow quad gel highlighter yeah because that's how we roll you could tell what's important in life did i get the eye mask that was sent to me as an idea which was the uh it's heated it massages it's for uh when you have migraines and i'm like no no 42 dollars that is too much let me break up that 42 dollars that same 42 dollars on other things because that's how i roll and then that's how i end up with a bunch of shit so yeah so other than that, god damn, I really gotta, like, reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah. All right. If you are a returning viewer and you're subscribed, I thank you. Um, feel free to leave me a comment below to let me know. Have you ever tried any of Gaga stuff? I have a lipstick of hers I bought. I haven't actually used it yet because, again, I didn't know where I wanted to wear my red sparkly lipstick. And I have an eyeshadow palette of hers that kind of skews warm neutrals. I haven't tried that one yet. I've done some swatches, but I haven't worn it yet. So, yeah, that's where we're at with my Gaga stuff. So, if you've used her stuff before, actually, like, bought it and already tried it on in a makeup look, please leave me some information below. Anything you can offer as a tip, a hint, things I might like, things I might not like, let me know. I'm picky. I'm bitchy. It's just it. Other than that, um, either way, whether you are a new watcher or a return viewer, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Leave me some kind of emoji down on the comments to let me know that you made it to the end. And if you like what you see but you're a new viewer, consider subscribing because I don't own an upload schedule. And this is me on like trying to look alive on death's door and you might not see another video from me for three four days or two weeks and then you may see five in one day it's how i roll i have a real life i work 12 hour days when i do work which is probably why i got run down enough to get sick and um i try and do the best i can with what i've got which is lots of deals i'm a i'm a bargain shopper which is how i end up like this so other than that Stay cool this summer. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, stay warm. Um, stay safe, regardless. This is a world of pandemic and upheaval and all kinds of problems. But I guess at every time in history, people have always had problems going on. So we seem to keep surviving somehow. We're like a friggin' virus on this planet. Other than that, um, try and be kind to your fellow humans because really kindness is free or not that expensive. And you never know when you could use some kindness. So... All right, remember, Rumi says life is about the balance of holding on and letting go. So I am holding on to our time together, but I'm going to let you go now. Creepy chow kiss. Bye.